But right now we're going to start off with a compilation of one of Jim Norton's friends slash characters. And we're going to look at the year of 2012 for the one and only Ted Sheckler. Opie Anthony's worst of 2012. What is the national math competition? Some kid just won the national math competition. What do they do there? They do problems. Mathematics. Five times five, 25! You're the champion! <laughs> I think it's more involved than that. Thousand dollars scholarship check, congratulations. When did you start loving math? How old were Since you? Since I was a very um, small boy! Oh, Ted, you love math? I certainly do, Gregory! Were you part of the math fucking competition? I won it five years in a row! Really? Five plus two is seven! Well, not bad. Thank you, trophy, please. But but don't the uh, don't the problems get more complicated than that, Ted? My mathematical skills are unparalleled. <laughs> you give me a math problem, and I'll give you an answer. That's what I do, Samuel. All right, nine divided by three. It certainly does, and divides very well. Whole bunch. <laughs> What's the What's answer? The answer? Three. Oh. Three times three is nine. Nine. Wait. Oh no. Three is the square root of nine. What about... Nine, nine times three is 27. Nine plus three is 12. Nine minus three is six. Nines and threes are my specialty, Gregory. <laughs> as long as they're nines and threes, yes. you okay? What about... Nine next to three looks like 93. <laughs> it lets you flip it. It's 39. What's what? six plus seven? I wouldn't know. I don't deal with those two numbers. Uh, what? Nines and threes, I said, Samuel. What about uh, three divided into nine? I already said that one. I only answer a question one time. It goes in three times. Well, there's not many other fucking examples left. I won the national last championship on the three nine category. How about 39 times three? I wouldn't know. I only deal with threes and nines in singular numbers or how they look together. Nine over three looks like a nine over a three. Three minus nine. Yes, you can't do that. Negative six, you bag of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is only eight worst of 2012. All right, so that's all we know about the Jacksons. We don't know much. Nah. That video was terrible. Very strange situation going on. Cunty aunt and a cunty niece. Fuck all of them. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Teddy Jackson never made anything. <laughs> Teddy Jackson. Right, whatever never gave me a motherfucking thing, yo. <laughs> I was there the whole motherfucking time. Joe, Joe was punching me too, Gregory. I don't remember seeing you, Ted Jackson. I was with the Jackson Six originally, but I was too motherfucking good. You're too I would sing A, B, C, but then I would forget the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> I would just start yelling D, E, F. Well, Michael went back to the motherfucking beginning. <laughs> that shit ain't right, yo. <laughs> My good friend, Dr. Conrad Murray, was very helpful to the family. I brought him aboard. Oh, you were the one that brought him I in. I said, wow. Michael's having trouble sleeping, Dr. Damn. Murray. Do you have anything used in surgeries? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. Do you have anything that will knock out an elephant? This man needs to take that before he sings and dances and provides glee for all. This is only worse than 2012. What happened What are you talking about? Nothing. I just, uh, just thinking about... Getting some um, apnea masks. I just mm. wish there was a place to go to get them. Mm. Oh. But there might be. Yeah? Where? Are you having trouble <laughs> sleeping? Oh, oh. <laughs> Gregory, are you, are you snoring? Are you gasping for breath? Is your tongue slowly murdering you by collapsing? <laughs> <laughs> slowly. Your tongue's a murderer! <laughs> Maybe you can help out Jim Norton, because he's having a problem sleeping, Ted. Nice, I've heard that! Yeah. How about you, Samuel? Is your soft palate collapsing like London Bridge? <laughs> it's no. a song we sing at Ted's Sleep Apnea Mask Emporium. Oh, wow. Your soft palate's falling down, falling down. <laughs> your soft palate's falling down, my fair lady. We haven't fixed the my fair lady part yet. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite It certainly in. doesn't happen. It's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there, though. Now, yes, there are so many masks. Oh. There are so many newfangled sleep apnea what, masks. What kind of different masks do you need? <laughs> well, you need constant air blowing into the sinus. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I've designed a fishbowl, and you squeeze your head into it. <laughs> like a diving bell. Yes, you do exactly oh, like okay. a diving bell. But the hard part is cramming in the pillow and putting your head backwards. And we have a Rolls-Royce jet engine that blows air up your nose and into your throat. <laughs> that sounds a little bit, uh, well, not only dangerous, but probably expensive to buy a, a jet yes, engine. Yes, it's a 
thousand dollar mask. Oh, it also sounds very loud, Ted. It certainly is. That's a great point, Gregory. How the fuck are you gonna sleep with no a jet ending blowing to. air into your face? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so nobody, no one sleeps. So how does the mask even work? Well, you, at least you're breathing, for Pete's sake. <laughs> oh, well, he's got a point there. Your tongue is murdering you, Anthony. It's collapsing. Uh, it collapses. It's conspiring against you. How does it collapse? I don't it just it. kind of lolls back. You know, the tongue was told to stand down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must push your... Because the tongue's not on your side, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a conspiracy. Yes. It's, it violated the most basic protection things a tongue can do. <laughs> it collapsed on top of the throat and murders people. <laughs> Reggie White's tongue is a murderer. <laughs> I also have a very good idea for drivers where you can take a hose and allow the exhaust to blow into your nose directly. Oh, Ted, well, now that you would know, be very Ted. dangerous. Come on, you that know that's kill carbon you. monoxide. Yes. I don't know, I've given quite a few of those machines out. Nobody has called to tell me how they like it. Bunch of ingrates. They're probably all snoozing. Well, you never get calls from happy people, so I guess they're doing good. That's a great point. And the whole fishbowl yeah. thing, what happens is sometimes the jet engine blows dust into their skull swelling so people can't get it out so they have to break it you have to break your fishbowl every morning <laughs> that yes you do are you expecting to make money off this idea i That's certainly am gregory I, all i gotta do is sell 300 of them and i am rolling in the dough <laughs> rolling in the dough <laughs> uh, so that's uh what is it ted's Ted's uh, sleep uh, apnea mask emporium, Anthony. And what do you sell? Sleep apnea masks and apparatuses. <laughs> masks. <laughs> All right. All right. And then there's the one where you could just duct tape it over your nose and mouth because those straps are so uncomfortable. Well, I think that would uh, cause a lot of breakouts and stuff. Yes, that's an excellent observation because I offered the strapless mask and people really wanted it. So I'm like, here, just tape this on your face. Tape not included. That sounds like a bait and switch to me. That's a good point. Yeah, that's what the yeah. lawyers are calling that... it. <laughs> and the gen edge is very loud. Yes, yeah, very loud. And it just blows air directly into the fishbowl, which your head is in it. You're on a pillow. That doesn't sound very uh, well thought out at all. Well, I've been told it's uncomfortable. I certainly won't use it. And what about fuel? Like, how do you fuel a jet engine like that? It's got to be. It's well, not very cost-effective. Well, yes, you're going to have to go to Ted's Portable Gas Pump Emporium <laughs> and buy yourself a little gas pump. Well, you need jet fuel for that. Yes, you do, Anthony. <laughs> not easy to get, Ted. Very difficult, Gregory. No. <laughs> it sounds. Uh, you, you'll be surprised. How much, how, how much money have you lost on this idea so far? So far, I'm down two. 2.5 million in research and lawsuits. Because <laughs> people are going blind when their life partner breaks the fishbowl in their head because they're suffocating. <laughs> I think it would be hard to get zoning for yeah, sure. a, uh, Very a residential for a yes. jet engine. I never thought of any of these things. <laughs> but I figure there's a lot of plane crashes and things. Just let me have those engines. <laughs> I'll save you the trouble. Uh, and how, how safe could it be to have a turbine winding in your in your yard like that when an animal... Yes, or... you'd be surprised how angry people get when their entrants are missing. <laughs> Because they, they tend to jam the engine. They get curious. Oh, mama, look, air. No, stay away from that. Mama, 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 mama giant swirly thing. <laughs> yes. Could, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, and then there's a scream and a loud clunk and a splatter against the wall. And darn it, you're going to be up for weeks, not sleeping and gasping and grieving. You might want to put uh, baby proof that shit. Put That's a fence a great around point. it. I probably yeah, yeah. should. Maybe put a fence around that tent. Well, I had a so warning that sign happen. posted. If you you're under the age of two, stay away. Oh, oh well, that's, no, that's, that's, that's got to work. Man. Thank yeah, you very much, yeah, Gregory. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Another emporium that's going to not do well, Ted. So far, the financial aspects are not as I'd hoped. I figured I'd sell these things and be rolling in glory. Roll. <laughs> What's your stock up to? What is the Emporium stock up to? Well, the share is worth $4 million, but I only have one and I own it. <laughs> one share. Yes, my portfolio is not good. $4 million, yes. oh, one I share. I invested a lot of money in soybean hats. Why soybean hats? Because I figured they're delicious. But you don't you want wear it. a hat, stay dry, and then have lunch. That was the Eat tagline. Hat, right. Oh, my God. Oh. Ted never learns. No, he's learns. Um, another bad idea. Not yet. Yet another yeah. horrible I, idea. This is only worst of 2012. Is there a Halloween store in our neighborhood? Yeah, that's just, that joint uh, just stays there with nothing in it for a year. And then it opens up. They open Once up a year, they got to make all their money. 
Well, yeah, because no one else is renting the space. Yeah. So the Halloween people uh, rent it every year. I'm oh. opening a Halloween store. Oh, oh, Ted. Ted. I bet you it's some kind of emporium. <laughs> yes, it is, Gregory. <laughs> it's Ted's Spooky Ooky Goblins and Ghouls Halloween Emporium. <laughs> spooky Ooky. Yes, it is, Anthony. Is that it? I opened it on October 31st at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> well, that's kind of not so smart. late. People uh, wait to get their Halloween needs. How many no. costumes? Costumes you sell? I, I have about forty thousand for sale. And how many have you actually sold? Six. Six. <laughs> well, they were actually stolen off the truck. <laughs> Don't you think it's a little late? Like people already have their no, costumes. No, at eight thirty on Halloween night, they're going to start rolling in to purchase <laughs> their goodies. <laughs> You should open it up now, Ted. No, I don't want to. Rent is too high, Gregory. <laughs> I open it that night, and I keep it open until December 4th. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? This way it's on Halloween, and people can go, let's go get our goodies. No, let's do it at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they're out there already trick-or-treating. No, I have bushels of candy to sell, too. Yeah, what kind of candy do you sell? I sell only Malamars. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cookie, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I throw it in the bag. So melty. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, what kind of costumes are we looking at over there? What's your best uh, sellers? Oh, I have, uh, I have uh, the Superman. I have a cape, actually. Like you say, you can be Superman with this cape. And I have uh, a wig. <laughs> a cape and a wig? 20,000 of each. <laughs> That would be the worst store ever. No, it's wonderful. You could be the caped wigged crusader. <laughs> is it a different color wigs or is it just... No, it's just black and a red cape and Malamars. <laughs> I don't think this business is gonna do very well. Can't people go get free candy at eight thirty PM on Halloween night? No, but you should buy it and then go home and give it out to all the children. <laughs> It'll make you feel wonderful, Samuel. <laughs> By the time you get home, it'll probably be 10 p.m. It's only me working, and I'm expecting a long line. It's on the 35th floor of a building. Wow. <laughs> so no one knows you're there if they're just walking down the street. Yes, I'm afraid of a riot, Gregory. So I'm trying to keep it under my hat. Or wig, as it were. LOL. <laughs> 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 Wig as it were. <laughs> Wig as it were. Wig as it were. This is only three. Three minus nine. Yes, you can't do that. Negative six, you bag of shit. <laughs> this is only worst of 2012. All right, so that's all we know about the Jacksons. We don't know much. No. That video was terrible. Very strange situation going on. Cunty aunt and a cunty niece. Fuck all of them. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Teddy Jackson never made anything. <laughs> Teddy Jackson. Right, Michael never gave me a motherfucking thing, y'all. <laughs> I was there the whole motherfucking time. Joe, Joe was punching me too, Gregory. I don't remember seeing you, Ted Jackson. I was with Jackson six originally, but I was too motherfucking good. You're too I would sing A, B, C, but then I would forget the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> I would just start yelling D, E, F, while Michael went back to the motherfucking beginning. <laughs> that shit ain't right, y'all. <laughs> My good friend, Dr. Conrad Murray, was very helpful to the family. I brought him aboard. Oh, you were the one that brought him I in. I said, wow. Michael's having trouble sleeping, Dr. Damn. Murray. Do you have anything used in surgeries? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Do you have anything that will knock out an elephant? This man needs to take that before he sings and dances and provides glee for all. This is only worse than 2012. What happened? What are you talking about? Nothing. I just, uh, just thinking about... Getting some um, apnea masks. Mm. Just wish there was a place to go to get them. Mm. Oh. But there might be. Yeah? Where? Are you having trouble <laughs> sleeping? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Gregory, are you, are you snoring? Are you gasping for breath? Is your tongue slowly murdering you by collapsing? <laughs> <laughs> slowly. Your tongue's a murderer! <laughs> Maybe you can help out Jim Norton, because he's having a problem sleeping, Ted. Nice, I've heard that. Yeah. How about you, Samuel? 
Is your soft palate collapsing like London Bridge? <laughs> it's no. a song we sing at Ted's Sleep Apnea Mask Emporium. Oh, wow. Your soft palate's falling down, falling down. <laughs> your soft palate's falling down, my fair lady. We haven't fixed the my fair lady part yet. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite It certainly in. doesn't happen. It's a great point. <laughs> You'll get there, though. Now, yes, there are so many masks. Oh. There are so many new fangled sleep apnea what, masks. What kind of different masks do you need? <laughs> well, you need constant air blowing into the sinus. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I've designed the fishbowl, and you squeeze your head into it. <laughs> like a diving bell. Yes, you do exactly oh, like okay. a diving bell. But the hard part is cramming in the pillow and putting your head backwards. And we have a Rolls Royce jet engine <laughs> that blows air up your nose and into your throat. <laughs> that sounds a little bit, uh, well, not only dangerous, but probably expensive to buy a, a jet yes, engine. Yes, it's a $400,000 <laughs> oh, mask. It also sounds very loud, Ted. It certainly is. That's a great point, Gregory. How the fuck are you going to sleep with no a jet engine blowing to. air into your face? <laughs> <laughs> one share. Yes, my portfolio is not good. <laughs> Four million. Yes. Oh, one I share. invested a lot of money in soybean hats. Why soybean hats? Because I figured they're delicious. But you don't you want wear to... a hat, stay dry, and then have lunch. That was the tagline. Eat your hat. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Ted never learns. No, he's but, um, another bad idea. Not yet. Yet another oh, horrible I... idea. This is only worst of 2012. Is there a Halloween store in our neighborhood? Yeah, it's just, that joint uh, just stays there with nothing in it for a year. And then it opens up. They open Once up a the year, they got to make all their money. Well, yeah, because no one else is renting the space. Yeah. So the Halloween people uh, rent it every year. I'm opening a Halloween store. Oh, oh, Ted. Ted. I bet you it's some kind of emporium. Yes, it is, Gregory. <laughs> it's Ted's Spooky Ooky Goblins and Ghouls Halloween Emporium. <laughs> spooky Ooky. Yes, it is, Anthony. Is I opened it on October 31st at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> well, that's kind of not so smart. late. Uh... People wait to get their Halloween needs. How many no. costumes? Costumes do you sell? I, I have about 40,000 for sale. And how many have you actually sold? Six. Six. <laughs> well, they were actually stolen off the truck. <laughs> Don't you think it's a little late? Like people already have their no, costumes? No, at 8.30 on Halloween night, they're going to start rolling in to purchase <laughs> their goodies. <laughs> You should open it up now, Ted. No, I don't want to. Rent is too high, Gregory. I open it that night, and I keep it open until December 4th. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? This way it's on Halloween, and people can go, let's go get our goodies. No, let's do it at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> That's when they're out there already trick-or-treating. No, I have bushels of candy to sell, too. Yeah, what kind of candy do you sell? I sell only Malamars. <laughs> That's a cookie, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I throw it in the bag. So melty. Uh, <laughs> oh well, what kind of costumes are we looking at over there? What's your best uh, sellers? Oh, I have, uh, I have uh, the uh, Superman. I have a cape, actually. Like you say, you can be Superman with this cape, and I have uh, a wig. <laughs> a tape and a wig. Twenty thousand of each. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst store ever. That was wonderful. You could be the caped winged crusader. <laughs> is it a different color wigs or is it just... No, it's just black and a red cape and Malamars. <laughs> I don't think this business is gonna do very well. Can't people go get free candy at eight thirty PM on Halloween night? No, but you should buy it and then go home and give it out to all the children. It will make you feel wonderful, Samuel. <laughs> By the time you get home, it'll probably be 10 p.m. It's only me working, and I'm expecting a long line. It's on the 35th floor of a building. Wow. <laughs> for that. Yes, you do, Anthony. <laughs> Not easy to get, Ted. Very difficult, Gregory. <laughs> no. It sounds uh, you will be surprised. How much, how, how much money have you lost on this idea so far? So far, I'm down $2.5 in research <laughs> and lawsuits. Because <laughs> people are going blind when their life partner breaks the fishbowl in their head because they're suffocating. <laughs> I think it would be hard to get zoning for yeah, a, sure. uh, Very a resident for yes. jet engine. I never thought of any of these things. <laughs> but I figure there's a lot of plane crashes and things. Just let me have those engines. I'll save you the trouble. Uh, and how, how safe could it be to have a turbine winding in your in your yard like that when an animal... Yes, or... you'd be surprised how angry people get when their entrance are missing. <laughs> Because they, they tend to jam the engine. They get curious. Oh, mama, look, air. No, stay away from that. 
Mamba, uh, Mamba giant swirly thing. <laughs> yes. Could, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, and then there's a scream and a loud clunk <laughs> and a splatter against the wall. And darn it, you're going to be up for weeks not sleeping and gasping and grieving. You might want to put uh, baby proof that shit. Put That's a fence a great around point. it. I probably yeah. should. Maybe put a fence around that tent. Well, I had a so warning sign happen. posted. If you you're under the age of two, stay away. Oh, oh well, that's, 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 that's got to work, man. Thank yeah, you very much, yeah, Gregory. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Another emporium that's going to not do well, Ted. So far, the financial aspects are not as I'd hoped. I figured I'd sell these things and be rolling in glory. Roll. <laughs> What's your stock up to? What is the Emporium stock up to? Well, the share is worth $4 million, but I only have one, and I own it. <laughs> <laughs> one share. Yes, my portfolio is not good. $4 million, yes. oh, one I share. I invested a lot of money in soybean hats. Why soybean hats? Because I figured they're delicious. <laughs> but you don't you want wear to... a hat, stay dry, and then have lunch. That was the Eat tagline. Your hat. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Ted never learns. No, he's but, um, another bad idea. Not yet. Yet another yeah. horrible I, idea. This is the worst of 2012. There's a Halloween store in our neighborhood. Yeah, that's just, that joint uh, just stays there with nothing in it for a year, and then it opens up. They open once up a the year. They got to make all their money. Well, yeah, because no one else is renting the space. Yeah. So the Halloween people uh, rent it every year. I'm oh. opening a Halloween store. Oh, oh, Ted. Ted. I bet you it's some kind of emporium. Yes, it is, Gregory. <laughs> it's Ted's spooky, ooky, goblins and ghouls Halloween emporium. <laughs> spooky, ooky. Yes, it is, Anthony. Is I opened it on October 31st at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> well, that's kind of not it's smart. late. People uh... wait to get their Halloween needs. How many no. costumes? Costumes do you sell? I, I have about 40,000 for sale. And how many have you actually sold? Six. Six. <laughs> well, they were actually stolen off the truck. Don't you think it's a little late? Like,